If you love music, then do more than just listen. Connor's Music. Welcome to John Connor's Live, Wednesday night live from Connor's Music. I kept my reverb on tonight because I lowered it a little because I'm using an Aston Origin mic to capture both my voice and the guitars today, uh, which you can see behind me. Uh, I did that because I thought it'd be cool to just capture the acoustic sound of the instruments not plugged in. So let me know your thoughts on that. Hey, Dan. And hi, Arnold. Thanks for saying hi. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you throw your comments, questions, concerns uh, into the uh, into the thread there. And I'll try my best to say hey to everyone. Hey, Phil, as we go along. And if you have questions, I, I love to answer those if I can. A um, couple of things that I'll share uh, as we go along. Uh, some other products I'm going to be using as well. But tonight we're talking about three different cork guitars and they're not new models they're not like something new to the industry or something but uh they were new to the shop and they they all showed up in a shipment this past week um and so one of which this one here so i'm getting better at that uh is an acoustic bass so i'm not going to play that tonight uh but i wanted to show it off um and then if you have any questions about it please go ahead and throw some questions in there and if you want to quickly hear it, like I can, I'll pull it down and play a few notes if you want. Um, and then I've got a, a steel string acoustic here and then a nylon string acoustic or a classical guitar um, right here. And I'll talk about the differences between those two a little bit tonight as well. Uh, hi, AJ, how you doing? Uh, I hope you're feeling better. I know you sent a message that you weren't feeling great this week, so I hope you're doing well. I hope everyone's doing well out there. You know, it's uh, tumultuous times still. But uh, I think there's a lot to be opti optimistic about. That's my hope, anyways. Um, yeah. I think I'll start with the guitar. I'm just going to get a little swig of water. I'm going to start off with a steel string acoustic. This is the Court SFX DAO Natural. And this is a thin body steel string acoustic with pickup, but I'm just using it, like I said, uh, unplugged today. Um, I wanted to tell you what the wood was because I know uh, right away, once we hung it up, there was a lot of comments about the wood grain of this instrument, how beautiful it is. Um, so this is the all dowel model, dowel model. It's an exotic wood featuring dowel for top, back, and sides. I might be saying it wrong, and you can correct me. Give me a phonetic spelling in the comments here. D-A-O, though. D dowel for top, back, and sides. It's a dense wood, so it produce, uh, produces some strong high mids. I think I would concur with that, complemented by a full and punchy low mid and bass. Slim body, though, so that they tend to be a little higher and brighter in tone, uh, is what my experience is. is experiences is uh steve hey how's it going and marianne hi luke says i'm feeling a bit better but quarantine is so boring there though so hopefully we'll have a little fun luke and uh play a few tunes that you like to help with the boredom that's what i hope um i'm gonna play a song uh i i for those of you that have been watching off and on all year like we started this last april every wednesday night pretty much except for couple of weeks but mostly it's been every Wednesday night uh, I've tried not to repeat songs so we've been getting new new cover songs or a couple times original songs every Wednesday uh, and at the beginning I was doing all songs by Danny Michelle at least one a week he's an artist that I just I thought I wanted to bring to people's attention because he's such a talented songwriter and um, then I ran out of Danny Michelle covers that I knew how to play so I learned a new one um, this was because I was listening to the album The Matador um, and I was driving with my son in the car and he was listening, Benjamin, and uh, he's 14 and he's listening to the tunes and, and he made a comment that, uh, cause there was a few with saxophone parts in a row. And he said, I think every song should have a saxophone solo. 
Uh, so I thought that was clever. I laughed quite a bit and I, so I tweeted it. That's sort of my thing I do with the kids when they say something funny. So if you want to get, uh, follow what John's kids say, that's funny, you know, follow me on Twitter for that. Anyways. So I tweeted it and, uh, tagged Danny in it and, and he liked the comment. So I thought that was great. Also, that might mean that all of Danny Michelle's songs coming up will have saxophone solos in them. So if that's the case, then that's Benjamin's fault. Blame him. Um, <laughs> all right, we can chat about this briefly. Did you see Will Smith smack Chris Rock? I wasn't watching the Grammys live, so I didn't see it happen. And, you know, and I wasn't there. Uh, I wasn't nominated for a Grammy. That's this doesn't fit into that category. Um, but of course, you know, I don't you'd have to be sort of under a bit of a rock not to have seen something about this online. Um, so. I don't know. Um, we're, we're sort of preaching here, preaching, uh, sharing the concept of just respecting each other. Uh, you know, we're, I think everyone's a little stressed. There's a lot of tension. Uh, so maybe direct humor attacking uh, somebody, uh, especially somebody battling an illness, maybe isn't the smartest choice, but, you know, that's also his job. <laughs> I said Grammys. Phil, thank you for that. Oscars, you're right. So I clearly wasn't watching either. I mostly make sure I tune in for the Juno Awards. That's about the only award ceremony I put on my calendar and make sure I I watch for it. Um, so not the Grammys nor the Oscars. Thank you, Phil, for that. Anyways, um, but also, of course, you know, that violent reaction. I'm sure there would have been better ways to solve that. But that's my two cents on Will Smith and, and Chris Rock. Feel free to throw your comments in about that. We can talk about that too, whatever you like. Um, I know how you feel, AJ Bin quarantining all week. Sorry to hear that, Steve. I hope everyone's feeling well and staying well and uh, doing everything that you need to do to, to make sure that uh, you're, you're going to be just fine. Uh, that's the important thing. All right. So uh, this is going to be kind of a funny song after all these interesting conversation topics uh, kicking off tonight. Uh, the song is called The Part You Throw Away. Uh, and he must have written this, I think, in a little sad time, a little moment. But it's sort of a funny little quirky song. So here we go. Um, the Part You Throw Away by Danny Michelle. I'm the bottle cap, the old box spring. I'm the shrink wrap on your pretty things. I'm the coffee cup in the old ashtray. I'm the part you throw away I'm the broken tab, the apple core I'm the tie left on the ocean floor I'm the Christmas tree on Boxing Day I'm the part you throw away Once there was love Once there was dreams But the tide went down I'm the bow and ribbon, the used up tape I'm the broken chair on the fire escape I'm the shell, the fat, the bones, the brain I'm the part you throw away I'm the tattoo you wish was gone I'm the broken TV on the lawn I'm the calendar and forgotten day I'm the part you throw away I used to give you goosebumps Sent shivers down your spine And I didn't even try I'm the cigarette but the birthday card Leftover scraps at the lumber yard I'm the burnt out bulb, the cellophane I'm the part you throw away Once there was love Once there were dreams But the tide went out I'm the part you throw away go that was the part you throw away by Danny Michelle and 
yeah, I recommend you go check it out. It's on the album The Matador. Um, and there's a, a cool live video uh, he posted not that long ago of, of him doing it. Um, and it's just funny because he's about to start and his cat goes by right at the beginning and he says hi to his cat. I don't know why these little things, I just like these quirky little interesting things and I love the lyrics of that song there. So, uh, And Kathy does too. Thanks, Kathy. So AJ asked Steve, are you a Leafs fan? So Steve, you gotta, if you're going to be quarantine buddies, he wants to know, are you cheering for the same team here? Um, if you're a Bruins fan, ha ha. That's all I got to say about that for now. That song is a great song for your voice. I know Bruins fans have been saying it to Leaf fans for a long time, but I think that's going to end this year. The song is a great song for your voice. Thank you. Um, yeah, it was nice. Uh, it doesn't demand, uh, the upper range too much, but I love the little melody of it. So thank you for saying that. Thank you for the applause there, Arnold. Adam, thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. It's just a single mic, a little bit of reverb through my, uh, Personas Revelator interface and a great little steel string acoustic, comfortable to play, uh, with built-in pickup at a very good price. Diecast machine heads for 439 so, you know, that's available at Connor's Music. Um, thank you, Dan, for the applause. And Steve, too. And I believe this yep is, I think, about the Leaf fan. So, you know, a lot of Leaf fans here. And Sean says, great job. Thank you so much for that, Sean. I appreciate that. Thank you, guys. All right. So, um, often in the shop, we get asked about what the difference is between a steel string uh, or a, like a flat top acoustic, uh, steel string acoustic, and a classical guitar or a nylon string guitar. Um, and it's important to know this if you're if you're going to service guitars, restring guitars, or even just if you're buying a guitar. It's nice to know the difference. Um, and it's important that you don't uh, put steel string guitars as strings on a classical guitar. That's I. I Share this, you know, share this live stream with people, like and subscribe and share just to put out the word because not that it happens a lot, but on occasion we'll see a, a classical guitar, which I'm about to show you in a second here, come in with steel strings put on it. And the tension is, the instrument's not designed for the tension. It often will break the machine heads. It I've seen them pull the bridges off and crack the bridges. So these, the instrument I'm about to pick up for and play for you is specifically designed for the nylon string. Um, and they will be wound nylon as well as plain nylon with that sort of clear look to it typically. Um, a lot of people will see the winding and think, oh, that's steel string. It's not. Um, you know, we've got the bronze or phosphor bronze, 8020 bronze wound strings plus the plain steels on a steel string acoustic. And then the wound nylon and plain nylon on a, on a classical or nylon string guitar. And the reason why I'm sort of saying both is that I'm going to play it for you. I'm going to try my best to play it for you classically. Uh, today, but I've seen people grab them and just strum them too, just like you might see me strumming a steel string uh, because they're more comfortable on the fingers. They like the body dimension. They like the neck dimension. So, you know, feel free to buy a nylon string guitar and use it the way you want to, but be sure to keep just nylon strings on it. So there you go. There's a little PSA for you there. So this one I was pretty excited about getting in stock. Um, this is the Court AC200. We're featuring three Court guitars today. Uh, well, one acoustic bass and two guitars. And what I liked about this one is it's got a solid top on it. Uh, okay, let's hear. Let's address these quick here. I think this is going to be the least here. Pass. <laughs> I certainly hope so. Yeah, I want to be cheering, uh, cheering for more than just a few games. Canada versus Panama at 10. Tonight? Yes, this is, I think it's the final one of the this series. And they've qualified for the World Cup, which did quasi-inspire tonight's t-shirt. I will say that. It, I was excited to see that. And um, and also, I'm just going to throw this in there now since this came up. Um, you know, the Canadian women won the Olympic gold. Uh, and this weekend, one of the players who is, uh, you know, originally from Keswick, is going to be at the Ice Palace. So her name's Erin Ambrose. She was one of the top defensemen for Team Canada. And she's going to be doing a meet and greet at the Ice Palace. Um, I believe it's this Sunday at 1 or 2. You can check the Town of Georgina website. And if you want, there's a free skate as well. So you can come out and do some skating for free. 
Uh, here, tag the mayor and let her know what a good job John is doing for getting word out about the events here in, in Georgina. Um, anyway, so uh, there's a free skate, but you have to register for that. And then, but I think the meet and greet, you just show up and, and you get a chance to meet Erin. Uh, and I'm sure she'll have her gold medal with her, which will be cool. I'm definitely planning on bringing for sure my two daughters who play hockey uh, and any of the kids that want to go. When is the world's? Ooh, I don't know. Uh, oh, uh, okay. Thank you. Uh, November 21st. Is that when it starts? World Cup, November 21st. When is the World Cup? So there you go. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Phil, for answering that because I didn't know that. Uh, although, although I appreciate uh, European football, soccer, um, it's not, uh, I'm not uh, knowledgeable on the topic. <laughs> Uh, Leafs and um, Canadian football, though. I'm not too bad on it. And baseball, not too bad either. But uh, I only play hockey. So, you know, if you don't play the sport, sometimes it's hard to be, to really understand the nuances of it, I, I would say. But there's some experts who, who don't play the sport, so I shouldn't. I don't judge them. I'm sure they do a great job. Okay, so one of the things you'll know about nylon string guitars is they do require a little more tuning. The nylon strings stretch a little more. I'm going to hold it up so you can see those a little bit closer. Up. <laughs> Five to one J's. There we go. So there's the nylon strings. Typically on a classical guitar, you'll notice a wider fingerboard. And that fingerboard has little to no radius to it, typically on a traditional classical. Look at, check out the headstock there. That's a more traditional classical headstock. These little barrels that the nylon strings are wrapped around are plastic um, in a lot of cases, not a steel material anyways. And so then the nylon um, is perfect for that. But if you had a steel string, it would be digging into that. And I've seen that anytime somebody puts steel strings on a classical, they'll dig into there. So not, not ideal. Um, okay, so one other product that I'm using today when I play the classical is I have uh, my trusty footstool. Uh, this is the Quick Lock FS01 available at Connors Music. We have stock right now. And it just, it's gonna help me elevate, in this case, my left foot. Um, and that does help because, again, sort of a traditional sitting position for the classical guitar is actually to have it out here, which I'm gonna do, uh, even though I'm not in the best seat for it. Anyways, I'm not making excuses, I'm just saying. <laughs> Um, and I'm going to play a little piece uh, called Romanza and then medley it with uh, a rough version of uh, Beethoven's for Elise. So here we go. Let's have some fun.
pleased with the tone of that. So that's the Court AC200. I threw in a flamenco chord change there for you in the middle. And um, to answer that question, uh, I, I'm going to say if I'm cheering for a basketball team and it's not um, like an Olympic basketball and I'm cheering for Team Canada, the only other option would be to cheer for the Raptors for sure. But I'm not an avid basketball watcher. So, okay, so now you got me, you know, a couple sports I'm not as um, attentive to. But if I'm cheering for a basketball team, it would be the Raptors for sure. All right, great playing. Thank you. Thank you very much. I got another song for you, too. And thank you for that, Phil. You guys are great. You're so supportive. It's awesome. Uh, I'm going to do uh, a quick chat about one other thing that's going on. And then we'll do another song using the, uh, the chord steel string. Throw any questions you have in about thank you very much uh about steel string versus classical nylon string please if you have any questions about that uh throw those in there um if you have a question about the footstool or the guitars themselves that'd be great good advice about not putting steel strings on classical it will rip the bridge right off oh i'm like yes yes oh you know so we've heard this we've heard this right uh, okay ross how do you know I want, to, I want you to say like you saw a video and it warned you not to do it so you didn't. That's what I hope you're going to say. Uh, look forward to the show every Wednesday. Even have the wife Leanne watching. Awesome. Well, hi, Adam and hi, Leanne. I appreciate that. And um, so uh, I'm going to grab the other guitar and do one more song for you today and then just tell you about a couple other quick things. So just give me one sec here to switch. And thank you for the applause there on Twitch. Oh, here we go. Oh, it was 42 years ago. It was a rainy, cold spring night 42 years ago. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that, Ross. I wish I'd had my live stream going uh, 42 years ago to warn you. Or maybe I could go into the past. Like, people always make that joke because my name's John Connors. They make the Terminator jokes. I'm surprised I haven't heard them on here yet. Anyways, like people put... Anyways, so I'm sorry to hear that. But yeah, don't put steel strings on a classical guitar. I'm um, talking about other tragedies. Uh, it was very sad to hear about the drummer from Foo Fighters, Taylor Hawkins. And um, I had contemplated doing a Foo Fighter song, but I thought it would be a little, as much as I wanted to take a moment to recognize that and and how tragic that is. Um, it would have been a little inauthentic for me to do uh, do it because I just really have never really listened to the Foo Fighters that much. Like, I know their music a bit, but um, that got me into the era a little bit. Um, and and I, I picked out a song that I thought would be a good fit uh, on this guitar. I might even do it uh, with the footstool here. I don't know, we'll see. Um, right now I'm using the built-in tuner that's on the, the pickup here for this. Very moderate, uh, small changes, nothing crazy there. Okay. All right. Okay, so yes, I did. <laughs> uh, and and uh, so we were fortunate, uh, the whole family, we did, like not fortunate that we caught it, but we were fortunate as a family that uh, nobody had any extreme reactions to it. And this was uh, during that sort of last lockdown time um and yeah we all I, everyone in the house got it sort of like dominoes um i had one really rough day um fevers and and pain and stuff like that uh but fortunately we i tried to do everything that i could to uh, stack the cards against covid and uh i believe we were uh, omicron variant people so uh you know from what we've been seeing uh most mostly milder uh thank goodness so we were all everyone was fine and, um, and, but thanks for asking. So I did get it and I hope you're doing fine, Luke, uh, and that you get out of quarantine soon. Um, and that you, hopefully you and everyone in your household is doing fine. And yes, Phil, this did, it was just like one of those, you know, oh, moments again. Right. And I did take, I was listening to, or watching a video with, um, with them performing, uh, like one of those intermittent interactive shows back in the nineties. And, uh, and he was a really funny, funny guy and a great, great, seemed like a really great person. If kind of guy you, you wish you got to know. 
Uh, but I'm not, like I said, I'm not going to do a Foo Fighters song for you. I'm going to wrap up with uh, a song by the Chili Peppers. I was going to say that at the beginning, like, oh, I'm going to do a Red Hot Chili Peppers song and then make sure people st stayed. But you've all been uh, staying tuned in all night, so I didn't have to use a teaser. Um, so two things to let you know about before I do the song. So one is that the Dideri Humidipak special runs till March 31st. That means, and including, so tomorrow's the last day to take advantage of 20% off your Humidipak products. We have stock on the Humidipaks, the refills, uh, the restore if you're in, in a, a real dryness situation. And if you are like wondering about dryness and humidity, we did it, we featured it a couple weeks ago with Nigel from Diderio. So you can check out on our YouTube channel that previous video from two weeks ago um, where we talked about that product a lot. Uh, the other thing is uh, following tonight's live stream, I am going to be going live again, but this time on the Connors Brothers Facebook page and YouTube channel and then still on the Connors Music Twitch channel. Connors, Connors Music has uh, given us access to Twitch for tonight. <clears throat> so um, if you uh, if you want a few more tunes, I'm going to have uh, members or a member of the band join me and we'll, we'll do a little chat and do some tunes as well there. So if you're enjoying it, you want to keep the keep the party going this wednesday night it, you know it's raining and cold outside who wants to be out there uh tune in uh just move over to the connor's brothers facebook page uh like us there and then then you can check it out um okay so you'll be in tomorrow great i'll be here at connor's music uh, i'm in till five but the shop is open till nine tomorrow and that special stays good uh well it stays online until midnight um but uh good in store until uh until nine o'clock and you love the peppers. Uh, you're learning a song by them. I wonder if it happens to be this uh, song I'm about to play for you. Four out of six have COVID in my house. It's been rough here. I'm sorry to hear that, Steve. Uh, you know, take care of each other. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's uh, it definitely spreads fast. And in the house, it's really hard. So, uh, you know, just do your best. Do your best. Take care of each other. Get a little water. I'll do one more for you. Thanks again for tuning in. John Connors Live on Wednesday night. That was bad. These footstools are uh, great, but you have to get your foot on it, not beside it, and knock it over. There we go. Sometimes I feel like my only friend is the city I live in, the city of angels. Lonely as I am, together we cry. I drive on her streets cause she's my companion. I walk through her hills cause she knows who I am She sees my good deeds and she kisses me one day I never worry, now that is a lie I don't ever want to feel like I did that day Take me to the place I love Take me all the way I don't ever want to feel Like I did that day Take me to the place I love Take me all the way Ooh. It's hard to be Nobody out there It's hard to believe that I'm all alone I don't feel alone I got you guys At least I have her love The city she loves me 
Only as I am together we cry I'm never gonna feel like I did that day Take me to the place I love Take me all the way I don't ever wanna feel like I did that day Take me to the place I love little guitar there eh really nice neck thin body beautiful look at that wood grain anyways thanks again for tuning in tonight oh thanks for that Steve and I hope again hope everyone's feeling good over there and glad you'll be back I'll meet you over on the Connors Brothers Facebook or YouTube channel whichever you prefer and thank you Phil thank you Kathy and yeah it is a good tune which one are you learning Luke throw that in there quick uh, so that was Under the Bridge uh, by the Red Hot Chili Peppers. And that intro, like just as a last thing, you know, and that's why I use the footstool to get this elevated, starts with this crazy D chord. So instead of a... You go. Okay. This is a teacher and me coming out. I got to show you how I did it. All right. And uh, thank you, Arnold. Oh, Snow by the Peppers. There you go. Cool. Great tune. Keep learning. Keep having fun. Love, laugh, learn. I don't know. Whatever the theme song said. And uh, again, specials done tomorrow for Humidipax. Make sure you come on in. And then hopefully I'll see you in a few minutes uh, starting at quarter after. 9.15 on the Connors Brothers YouTube channel, Facebook page, and this Twitch channel. Thanks. Have a good night. We'll see you next Wednesday. Thank you, guys.